Okay, so I decided today I'm going to get into the uh, rocker panel on this thing. I got, I got to do the floors, I got to do the rockers, uh, probably got to do this pillar extension, so on and so forth. Um, so first things first, it starts with the removal of this fender. So I'm going to pop this guy off and we'll see where we go from there. Um, before you can get the fender off, you got to pop this cowl piece off here. I think there's four bolts to hold this on. I know you guys will correct me if I'm wrong. I'm just going to pop that guy off. I think I'm just going to throw these bolts back where they come from. That way I don't have to worry about keeping track of them. Out of all these bolts, the one I hate the most is this one. From the top of the fender into this grill support here. And you can see this one's going to be especially fun of all the rot but i'm going to try and take this off and then we got some down here as well i'll take those off before i attempt those because those i don't think they'll be a problem and if they break so be it as luck would have it i hardly have any bolts in there i think i got one up here at the top My surprise is actually unbolting too. Do a quick scribe here to get me close, but I mean, get our first real look at this um, so there's behind the so this is where the, the fuel tank is this is the cab corner here on the driver's side she's Bluetooth everything here is Bluetooth really this is a driver's side floor she's pretty shot it's pretty soft all the way really 
Um, over on the other side, same deal. There's the passenger side. She shot as well. Cab corner, same thing. And the rocker is the same thing. So you can see over here, like a lot of guys will brace this up, you know, to, to keep the structure. But you can see on mine, like this is, this is not braced. In fact, when I close the door, this moves. <laughs> so I'm not going to bother bracing it because I know better. Um, I'm not going to do myself any favors. I am hoping that this is going to be okay in here. I have no idea if it will or not. I'm impressed that that's okay. I don't think those bolts will unbolt, but um, we're going to see what happens here. I'm going to go ahead and just start grinding and hacking and slashing. And I think we're going to start with our inner, inner rocker, outer floor. We're going to start with that panel first, but, uh, let me put you guys on time lapse and I'll just start hacking and slashing. Hang tight. Okay, so I don't know, the thing's such a mangled mess. There's nothing really straight to go off of, you know what I mean? So, so I'm going to go off of this to line up this. I'm going to go off of the indents in the floor to line that up. Same as over there. We've got to replace some more metal there, but at some point you have to just grow a set and get after it. And I think that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to weld this guy in. I'm going to chop it out. I'm going to butt weld it in. I'm going to use the cut and butt method. I know a lot of people aren't going to like that and that's okay. You don't have to like everything. Um, but I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the cut and butt method. I'm going to, do a butt weld all the way across here, across there. I'm gonna come up there and across. As long as this isn't burning through, it's pretty thin. I don't have a lot of hope for it, to be honest. I'm likely going to have to replace that metal as well. But we'll see when I get there. This I definitely have to replace. This I'm probably gonna to have to replace. We'll see what happens when I get there though. One thing at a time. I wonder where that brace is. Uh, there is no brace. Perfect. I'll be replacing that whole piece, I'm sure. Uh, maybe I should remove this and replace that piece first. I don't know. Uh, all right, let's figure it out. Okay, let's take a look at what we got here. Um, like I say, I'm going to try the old... Uh, 
cut and butt all along here and across there. And then I'm going to come up across there and weld across here. And then I, I, I built this patch here. It's going to go in here. I'm going to come up and across here as well. So that's where we're at for now. I'm just going to clean up a little bit. Uh, maybe just take a, a quick 10 minute break. And then we're going to get at this. I'll get myself a little bench. And we're going to get cutting and welding and grinding and tacking and fighting. We'll see, if we, see what we can get done. Hang tight. Now, I don't want to get into a whole how does a what's cutting butt welding and stuff. Because the truth is, there's videos out on that stuff. And there's by guys who are better at it than me. Um, basically, the... The, the short and sweet of it is you make your cut, you push that metal away, you pinch these together, you weld it up, you keep going all the way through, your, the material you, you cut falls away. That's it. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Uh, let me just grab some gloves. Um, Fitzy Fab Fitzy's Fabrication actually does a really good job of explaining it. Um, I'm just gonna start you guys off. I'll do this part here and then maybe I'll get, uh, I'll put you on time lapse. That way I can put some music on myself. All right, so I'm just gonna cut that away. Okay, it's a quick update to where we're at. Um, I got this floor pan welded in. I had to put a patch up there. I had to put a little patch there. I didn't notice it until I had this patch in and that patch in, but I had a soft spot there. So I thought, now's the time. So I'll cut it out and put that in. So that's done. Now I gotta go find this piece and then that piece. I'm gonna... There's a, a B pillar extension here. I'll put that on and then we'll put this what they call the uh, inner rock or outer floor on as well. But I'm going to stop and have a bite to eat for lunch and then I'll come back out and we'll get at it again. Hang tight. Okay. So this is what they call the uh, outer floor inner rocker. So this being this part being the inner rocker, this part being the outer floor. <clears throat> in hindsight you can see how big that is it goes right to the, the edge of the floor there like right to the toe kick in hindsight maybe I should have put this guy in first and then patched in the floor I don't know um, to me I don't think it matters that much sure somebody will correct me on that but I've done both ways I've done this and then this I've done this and then that uh, is what it is I 
I think what I'll do is I'll chop a bit off of this because right now that's useless to me anyway. I'll chop a chunk off, find out what I need, and we'll start working from there. Uh, I don't know. How about here? Because we don't need any of that. That's about this. Ah, uh, right about there. Good enough. Might as well start hacking some of this off, get it out of our way. Okay, so just going over some of my footage there and I see you guys didn't really get to see too much of the rocker panel. So I'll just have to kind of bring you in and explain it afterwards. I ended up just tacking up the corners here. Um, it was good. So I bolted it in. Um, on the back end there's the bolt holes of course. Uh, so I bolted that in. Tacked this up. I'm just happy with it. So I went ahead and threw it in. Um, I just welded it up here. I know a lot of people will do the plug welds and try to make it all nice and pretty, but I ended up having to hammer that around a little bit. Maybe these are the cheaper uh, rockers. I don't know. I didn't pay a lot for them. In fact, they came with the truck, uh, if I remember right now. Um, so they they didn't fit with the dams. So I ended up cutting them up and, and hammer them around a bit. Uh, they work good now. It's kind of hard to tell how it fits along the door because the door's all mangled up. And even this front fender. Uh, but we do got a good got a good line there. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, <laughs> I do wish somebody come give me a hand to line this thing up because this door needs to kind of come back a bit and, and maybe up a little bit. I don't know. But anyway, we got our floors done. Ended up having to... Put in a little piece up there and another bigger piece up here. That's the floor panel that that we got. This is the inner rocker part here. And then there's a patch panel back there as well. This floor panel actually extends down as an inner rocker. So uh, when I was doing my floor mounts, so that's that guy there and this guy here. That's when I ran out of gas. And uh, did I notice right away? Nope. So I got some boogers down there uh, that need to be ground off. And then we'll do it again. At any rate, this is the, the done deal for now. Um, it's not that hard. It took most of a day for sure. But I, for one, think it's uh, time well spent. It's not a lot of money. And guys will walk away from a truck um because of rockers or floor pans you don't have to um as far as if i was to buy the rockers for this thing 
I don't know, I might be might be into it for 150, 200 bucks a side for the rocker, the inner rocker, and the floor pan, and the and the and the mounts. They're not a lot of money. Um, or sorry, not the mounts, the floor supports. They're, it's not a lot of money. Uh, take some time, but remember, like this is all going to end up under carpet, under under a mat. Even this here, it's all going to be body worked afterwards. Like, I personally, I don't sweat that stuff. What I'm worried about is, is it going to hold? It'll hold. <laughs> That's all I care about. Let me throw some carpet on there. It's nice that it holds. That's what I'm looking for. Same as the rocker. Is it going to look good? It looks good. Don't worry about it. You know what? Just get her done. Enjoy it. You don't have to pay a million bucks. You don't have to take all summer to do it. That's one day, uh, one long day. The other side is going to be another day. Um, I'm probably not going to get to it. I just have things I need to do. So next day's off. I'll do that one. I don't know if I'll bother making another video out of it. Um, that's where we're at anyway. So if you stuck around this long, think about, uh, I don't know, subscribing. Be cool. Appreciate it. And uh, love to have you on board. We're going to finish this up. This is a 63 Chevy short box step side with an LS1 or LS, LS3. I don't know. I don't know what this stuff is. This is out of a 2004 GMC 5.3 liter. And then I got a 4L80E behind it. I'm waiting on a, a wiring harness. Hopefully I can get that put in here real quick and get this thing running for you guys. Uh, short of that, I still got some more metal work to do. I'm going to change out this box. I'll do a, a better um, a better video for the wood replacement in there. I'll, uh, I'll walk you through cutting up the wood and what we do use for, um, you know, to carve it out and all that good stuff and lengths and install it'll be a good video i can do it for like a hundred bucks so it it's well worth sticking around for um and then we'll be moving on to my 56 chevy short box step side that'll be i don't know probably another couple months away but we got we'll have lots of videos on this one coming up all right thanks for sticking around we'll we'll see you in the next one